I go by the name of Mark Battles, AKA Tony Vasi. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. We just wrapped up a crazy show in my hometown. One of the best shows of my life. I'm on cloud nine right now. <laughs> I heard Life After Death by Biggie Smalls, that album, and uh, Slim Shady LP by Eminem, and Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. Those three albums made me feel like, yo, it seems like it'll be cool as fuck to be a rapper and to be able to express yourself in such a way that you get respect for it and you get admired for it. I think it's important for, for us as artists to use our power, you know, in different ways. A lot of guys get, get successful and, and get the power and attention and they just use it for selfish reasons. And me, I just, I always want to put a message in my music. I always think it's important to have some sort of substance and, and actually talk about something on an emotional level because we are human beings. And a lot of people live in this fairy tale world, especially these rappers who make you think everything is so perfect. And some of those guys are crying themselves to sleep every night. And the fans would love to actually get the real side of it. That's what I think. So when I'm feeling like I'm that nigga, I'm feeling like I'm everything you should want to be, my music sounds like that. But when I'm feeling down and I'm depressed and I'm emotional and, and I'm, I'm hurting, I'm in pain, the music is gonna reflect that. How am I supposed to keep my faith when God took my bro away? Think about him every day, how cause the pain won't go away. I was about to end this shit. I be mean, really in this shit. Then I thought about my kids and nah. I ain't with that shit. When life throw a curveball, how come it's hard to hit that pitch? Yeah, she did a nigga wrong. How come deep down I missed that bitch? Flip that script. I got focus on my craft, just trying to make a difference. And sure it's all authentic when I make a sense. One of my inspirations is, is Dr. Seuss, which sounds funny, but I look at a lot of these artists, these rappers like Dr. Seuss. They can just sit down and make up something. A total fairy tale. And it sounds good. They can rhyme it together, but none of it's true. I'm not good at that type of writing. All of my writing comes from experiences or emotion, the way I'm feeling at the time. It's hard for me to just sit down and make something up. I can't just once upon a time or green eggs and ham. Like, I just don't have that type of mind. You know, my mind works in a reflective way. I'm writing to vent. I'm writing to, to express myself. So a lot of my music has an emotional base to it because I'm an emotional guy. You know, my life has been a roller coaster for, for all these years, you know, and no signs of that changing. So my music is what helps me cope with it. I came to tell her the truth. She said, do what you're supposed to And never let them fold you Mama was a thug, I was raised by a soldier The purse on the shoulder, got a pistol with no holster Said, let a nigga make a move and I'ma toast him Ghost him, sleep tight, ain't never what it seemed like Wanna know my life, a lot of death and some street fights Walking home at night, they smoking meth by the street lights Had to check some niggas cause they thought I was the weak type I feel like I'm an upcoming artist, you know what I mean, but Y'all talk to me and y'all look up to me, especially my Indiana people. And I just want y'all to know that that shit means so fucking much to me. You know what I mean? I came from nothing, man. You know, like I, I came a long way, but we got a long way to go. And the most important thing for us to remember is it's Indiana to our die, motherfucker. Hard work matters more than talent 90% of the time. There's so many talented people out here. I've been neck and neck with guys that I felt like may at the time have been more naturally talented than me, but I've yet to meet a person that works harder than I do. It's just hard to, to teach that, 
Hard work is, is one of those natural things. Either you got it in you, you got the passion, you got the grind, you got the grit, or you don't. You can walk down the street in Vegas and hear 10 girls singing beautifully, and you think like, wow, she sounds as good as the girl that's going platinum right now, you know? And it's, it's not just about having the talent. You know, it's, it, it takes the, the drive, it takes you actually applying the talent and putting, putting passion and effort into it. And that's what's gonna help you get results. I thought you niggas knew enough. I thought you niggas knew enough. So I'm with a bunch of people that grew up like me that, you know what I mean, know life just like I know life. That's why I kicked the tour off here, because it's a special feeling. But, um... What's up? <laughs> but I think it's important for us to not only come together with shit like this, but it's a lot of people doing a lot of shit that's from Indiana, and we all need to start supporting that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah! Take some time and, and go to some of these mom and pop restaurants, man. You know what I mean? You don't always got to eat Papa John's and all that nasty shit. It's bad for your body anyway. Yes, sir. So, support some Indiana shit, man, because it's hard. We from Indiana, we know. Motherfuckers is sleeping on us, you know what I mean? But the only way this shit is going to grow is if we come together. So, when y'all come to concerts like this, it helped me out, you know what I mean? I got people watching me all over the world, but if my hometown ain't fucking with me, ain't nobody gonna fuck with me. So y'all gotta keep showing out, you know what I mean? Fly America.